What if I told you that I could show you how to improve your book quick and easy? Skeptical? Well then stick around. Hey Write Writers, Keith Wheeler here and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out a new video. Okay, there is a super easy way to enhance virtually any book you publish and it's something that many people just don't think about. Many traditional publishers have figured it out. So it's time that somebody, and it's gonna be me, shares it with you. I'm talking about adding in images. But before you stop this video and go back to watching reaction videos, hear me out. I'm not talking about adding in high resolution cartoony images that are just gonna rack up the file size of your ebook. I'm talking about making a few minor additions that will make a big difference in setting your books apart from the others. I'll even show you how to add images to a PDF. Do I have your attention now? Well, let's get started. Here we are on pixabay.com. As you know, this is one of my favorite places to go for free images and vector graphics. So we're gonna go in here, and the first book we're gonna add images to is gonna be to my young adult short read book, which is called Hit Like a Girl, which is all about softball. And I'm gonna go to vector graphics, I'm gonna enter, and I like this one and this one. So I'm going to click on it, click free download. Now normally I would go with the bigger one, but since I'm gonna be using these as smaller images, I'm just gonna go with this default middle size and I'm gonna click and download both of these and then I'm gonna show you how to add those in. Here we are and hit like a girl and I'm gonna show you again some of these ways that you can just add images and really enhance your book. You can do this if it's a picture book, if it's a chapter book, it doesn't matter. I'm just using this young adult short read as an example. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add those images to the page number. So I'm gonna double click into the footer. I'm gonna to go to insert pictures. Now we're gonna take this image and we're going to shrink it down. I'm holding the shift so that way it stays proportionate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it around my page number. So how do I do that? Right now I'm under format. I'm gonna to go to wrap text and I'm gonna go down to behind text. So line it up right where I want it. Double click and there it goes. And now I'm gonna go down to let's say page two and let's say I wanna do a different image. So I'm gonna to go to insert pictures and again I'm gonna hold shift probably about that wrap text behind text I'm just gonna pull this up there we go all my evens will have the softball all of my odds will have the pitcher there you go here we are in PowerPoint. As you can see, it is an interior for one of my line journals, but you wanna make sure that your line journals are more unique than the other ones out of the market. So when someone clicks on the look inside feature, it makes your book stand out. So this particular line journal interior that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do for a children's book. So what I wanna do is I wanna put um, an image down here that's going to be more childish and again make the book look a little more unique but what I don't want to do is have to do it on every single page so I'm going to go to view I'm going to go to slide master and I'm going to insert a new layout when I click inside this new layout I'm going to select control a for control all I'm going to select everything and I'm going to hit delete okay so here we are we have a blank layout and this is going to be the background for my pages First thing I want to do is insert a rectangle. I'm going to go to shapes, I'm going to select a rectangle, and I'm just going to put it right about here. I'm going to right click inside it, and I'm going to select fill. And I'm going to fill it with a picture from a file. And there's the picture that I'm going to do. Now, I do want my image there, but I also want it to be in black and white. I don't want any color because I don't want my line journal in color and make the overall price go up. So I'm going to right click, format picture, 
I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to recolor. I'm going to pick probably this one. I like the black and white. There we go. All right. Now, the other thing is if I go, if I leave that just as is and I go to view and I go to normal and I right click and I change the layout, you're going to see that's still a bit dark, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to view slide master and I'm going to click on this. And the reason why I put it inside a shape is because now I can go here I can go to fill and I can adjust the transparency if you just put in the image you wouldn't be able to do this but because I put it inside a shape the shape now allows me to adjust the transparency of the picture so now if I go back to view normal that's what it looks like and that's a lot more faint and still works well with the lines that are there if I wanted to make it even more transparent I could do that as well but I like the way that looks right there now you may be wondering okay but you have 110 pages Keith you're gonna have to do that for all of these no I'm gonna just click on this one control a and it selects all of them and then I just right click go to layout and select the custom layout and I've now added it to all of my pages, as you can see right here. Now I can just take this, go to File, Save As, and I can just call this Kids Book, save it as a PDF, and click Save. Now here we are with a PDF file. And sometimes you'll go out and you'll buy a PDF file, and you don't have the originating files, so you can't make any adjustments to it. And it's like, what do I do? You know, I mean, it seems like everybody and their mother is has some kind of PDFs out there. In fact, even I have PDFs of some of the interiors that I've shown you how to make in my no content templates tutorial videos. I've actually created those PDFs and they're available for people to purchase and download. But like I said, once you download them, what do you do? Well, here is one for a, a, a simple guest book. You know, nothing fancy. I mean, some fancy text, but but that's about it. You have nothing that really makes it stand out. But what if I wanted to take this and take this one interior and make multiple books out of it? Yes, you can just throw a different cover on it, but again, that doesn't make it unique. But what you can do, you can actually go in to small PDF, and I know I've talked about that site numerous times, but you can go into that and you can actually make these interiors different. So I'm gonna show you how to add an image to a PDF. Here we are, smallpdf.com. And I'm just going to go to edit PDF. You can either choose your file or drag and drop it. I'm just going to drag and drop my file. This is going to be my guest book. Again, it's the same guest book I just had. Now what you can do is you can add a text, you can add images, you can add shapes, or you can draw. We're going to add an image. Let's start off with, let's just do some bells. Okay. I actually like where that placed right there, but I can move it around if I wanted. But I like that right there. Again, we don't want to make it you know over the top we just want to make some little enhancements that when someone clicks on the look inside feature they can see that this book is different than just a normal guest book maybe I want to add another image I'm gonna use this one okay as you can see it's a silhouette of a couple I can just change the size I can click the X right here if I want to get rid of it and maybe I just want to put it like right here as you can see, this is the line where the page is, so I want to definitely make that smaller. And maybe I want to add another one, same image. Put it over here. I want to make them about the same size. There we go. And you can just go through the different pages and add what you want. Maybe we'll alternate between the bells and the couple. Maybe add some other things, some other flourishes. Again, you don't have to go over the top. You just want to add a few little nuances that when someone clicks on the look inside feature, they see that your book is a little bit better than the other books on the market. Again, making your book stand out, improving your chances to sell more books. When you're done, you click finish. Just click download. So this is my original. 
this is the one I just did again just little flourishes scroll down scroll down so if you saw these two books on Amazon and you looked at inside and you saw this one and then you saw the next one that had this and this which one would you be more likely to buy the one that has the images the one that stands out just a bit more I told you it was easy now I would love to know what type of books you plan on using these tips on let me know down in the comments now if you're looking to make more money on Amazon have you thought about the Amazon ignite program click right here and check out my short series on ignite and learn everything from what it is and how to research a good product to how to create it and even how to upload or you can check out this video that YouTube picked out just for you I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right